Hey guys and welcome back to another Blender beginner tutorial. Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make this bottle in Blender and at the end of the video if you stick around I'll be showing you how to make the fluid dynamic with movement. So let's start modeling. Firstly we need to add our references so press add image and then press references then get your image which you're gonna be using as a reference. Firstly let's add a plane so add the mesh then add a plane then rotate it by 90 degrees on the y-axis. Then go ahead and enable the auto merge setting, which just merges uh, vertices if they're close to each other. Then you're gonna scale down your plane to zero so it merges at a single vert, which we're going to use to outline our mesh. So place your vert at the bottom middle of the bottle, and then just start outlining by pressing E to extrude the vertice, and then just cover the whole model. Try as much as possible to keep the verts as uniform as possible so the density of the verts should be to some degree uh, just uniform throughout the whole model. After we're done with the outlining, you could use Control shift b to smooth any hard edges uh, along the outline. Also make sure that the top vert is exactly in the middle just like the bottom vert. Now to turn this outline into a shape we're gonna use a screw modifier so head to your modifiers and add screw and make it along the x axis. So yeah now you got the model for the bottle. We're gonna add a subdivision modifier to smooth everything out. So let's apply our screw modifier so we can adjust some stuff in the model. And heading to edit mode, we can see that the cap is like not straightened. So we can use an edge crease, uh, select the edges and edge crease to flatten it out a bit. Now let's separate the body from the cap. So let's select the whole body and then P, then separate by selection. Now let's start adding the material. So head to edit mode to the bottle and select the edges surrounding the label by Alt, then selecting the edge and then add a seam. So let's go to the materials, make the plastic material, let's name it plastic. Let's make the other material, let's name it label. Now let's select the label using L, then seams, yeah, then assigning the material. Now let's add the material for the label. We already assigned the label material, so head to your material properties and then base color and change it to image texture. Then press open and grab your label texture. I've asked uh, ChatGPT to make me one label, so here it is. If we head to material preview now, you'll see that the material has not been applied correctly. That's because we need to UV unwrap it, so head to the UV editor. And we're gonna use, uh, if you press U, then spherical projection, you're gonna see that it's uh, mapped onto the image correctly so we're gonna map it and then just adjust uh, the dimensions so it's aligned with the label let's now just adjust the cap a bit and make it more sharp so we're gonna select these two edges and then add an edge crease it's gonna be more sharp yes just like this so now we want to add thickness to the plastic so how we are gonna do that is using a solidify modifier so hit to your modifiers tab and then search for solidify modifier and you're gonna increase the thickness just a bit so after doing that we want to make the inside texture to be a plastic so we're gonna just select the materials on the inside and then uh, using L and then applying the plastic material I've added an extra seam uh, at the top so we can select the uh, top seam without it selecting the outside one and then I selected the outer faces pressed ctrl i to deselect them and here I have the inside so I applied the plastic texture to make the plastic texture just change the surface to glass and adjust the roughness a bit and that's it that's the plastic texture and to make the water, we're gonna shift D the whole body and then scale it on the X and Y by pressing shift Z. And let's scale it even more. Yeah, and that's it. Now let's duplicate the material, pressing this button. And let's change the color to a bluish color for the water. Now to cut off the water at a certain point, let's add a cube. 
and scale it uh, up a bit then add a boolean modifier to the uh, water body and select the cube as the boolean object and yeah that's it we're done with the bottle now for the bonus part go to your mesh and add an empty go to the empty tab and then add an empty and move it up to the middle of the bottle and then parent it to the uh, bottle's body make sure to also parent the cap and the water so for the cube go to the object constraints and add a copy location to copy the location of the empty and make it offset move it a little bit down so now it copies the location of the empty uh, wherever it goes and it crops the or is like a boolean to the water wherever it goes so we're gonna move just the empty I think we need to move the empty just a bit upwards. Yeah, now when you hide the cube, you'll have a fully fluid uh, bottle. So yeah, we're done. Here's the final render. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content. And see you in the next one.